Hello, my name is Derek Dextres, and I'm running for governor of the state of New Hampshire in the Democratic primary. I also created the pumpkin, the anti-bullying children's book, The Pumpkin Wizard. I believe that our state needs a governor that represents the class, the working class, and knows their struggles. Their struggles to make ends meet with a minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. In fact, I know a woman that makes $10 an hour. She lives on her own and pays $750 rent which is relatively cheap in the state of New Hampshire. But she still doesn't have enough money left over each month for the necessaries of life. The state tells her she makes too much money for food stamps and any other type of welfare. In 2011, the Republicans voted to have a no minimum wage in New Hampshire and go by the federal minimum wage, which is $7.25 an hour. That's $290 per week or $15,000 $80 gross income per year. How can anybody live off of that? That's why I'm in the fight for 15 an hour. So that the working class can have what they need to survive. I will also fight for legalizing marijuana and decriminalize possession of marijuana. There are many benefits to doing this. The New Hampshire police force would have more time to focus on crimes that matter to the people of New Hampshire. It would free up jails that are overcrowded and it would bring the new it would bring in new revenue that could be used to benefit the state. Colorado saw $135 million in new revenue last year. With this new tax revenue, New Hampshire can invest in more beds and rehabilitation centers for opiate addicts. I probably don't have to tell you that opiate use is an epidemic in our state. New Hampshire is on course to have just shy of 500 deaths by the end of this year from opiate overdose. In fact, many of you probably know someone who is suffering. I know someone, and that someone is my brother. He has overdosed five times in the last two years. He is clean now and doing good. I know it's a fight for him every day to stay clean. We need to start helping addicts to kick their habit and renew their lives. Homeless veterans also need a second chance at life. After serving our country, the money from legalizing marijuana could be used to support organizations like the Veteran Resort Chapel in Lee, New, New Hampshire, that, <laughs> in Lee, New Hampshire, that helps homeless veterans get back on their feet by providing homes and community support for them. Go to veteransresortchapel.com if you want to help them. These are some of the struggles that I know about, but I want you to I want to know about your struggles too. So and I invite you to email me at governordextrays at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Derek Dextrays and let me know what you think. You can learn more about my other views by going to my website, DerekDextrays.com. When I am governor of the state of New Hampshire, I will have an open door policy that one day a month will allow anybody in the state to come to my office and talk to me without an appointment. Just show up and we can talk. I think we should work together and on September 10th, if you're around Dover, New Hampshire, please come to uh, Henry Law Park in Dover, New Hampshire and we're having a big bash from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, hope to see you there and I hope for your vote.